Is it the is it the ladies? Is it the ladies? Who's gonna stand up and win this Tug of War challenge? So here's what we're about to do, okay? Here's what we're about to do. If you were in the uh, January, February, uh, and then the December side, if you were on the side page of the stage, you're gonna, we're gonna have all of the girls on that side. We're gonna have you grab one end of the Tug of rope, War rope out there. Charlie and Ben are out there. Ladies, Tug of War! Cheer out there, all the ladies. We're gonna have you go out there and grab an end of the rope. We're gonna see who's got the strength to pull the other foot to the other side. It's gonna be, it's gonna be incredible. Thing. I know. Why? Okay, so I was like, Sydney's ready. Sydney's ready. She's not afraid. Are you like returning it? Oh my gosh. Why? 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 Yeah, he's gonna be sick. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's get the ladies out there. Let's get the ladies out there. You know what? Uh, so let's get let's get the ladies. This is what we're gonna do. Hey, do you wanna get buddy? Do you want to get money? Yes or no? Do you want to get money? No. Okay, we can watch. I didn't know if you wanted to get it. Hold it! 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 Oh, my God. 
Hey, where are we say? I don't know. We're at Color Wars for Young Life. Yeah. It's all it's all done. It's all wrapped up, I think. Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Was it fun? Yes. Yeah. Hey, you want to be oh. interviewed? Huh? You want to be interviewed? Sure. State your name, your Ross. year, where you go. Uh, class of 2023. Oh. Okay. And I got a model. Okay, cool. I think you should document my dedication. Love, love. Um. My fit for right now. <laughs> oh, love. Fit check, for sure. For sure, Z. <laughs> When's your birthday? My September 30th. Hey, come on. It's going to be a big giant group pick. Y'all come on over here. We're going to get us a big giant group pick. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a lovely, lovely thing. Come on in. You got to bunch in. You got to bunch in. Come on in. Bunch in. Bunch in. It's like we're talking about just a giant thing. Some squats. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure you can be seen in the picture. Bunch it in, bunch it in. Bunch it in. Let me see what you Get that point five. Get that point five. Y'all look beautiful. Y'all look beautiful. I got to tell you. It's just like, oh, you got it. Here we go. Here we go. How are you looking? You You got it. You got it. Let's go. All right, act like you're having a good time. Smile. Throw what you know. Throw what you know. Do whatever you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See what you got. See what you got. You want a wild, wild? You got a wild action? You want to throw some wilds up in the air? You want to just push people around you? Have a ridiculous. Do whatever you want. Just put All right, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, listen, you guys have been incredible. We've got just one more thing we're going to do here. So if you want to just gather close to the stage for a few minutes, first thing I'm going to do is uh, introduce you to our next group. Hey, we're going to have some fun. 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 We're going to have some f
we went on a safari and it was pretty crazy um because when you're on a safari you just see all these animals that you're like this is actually national geographic in real life like you're like staring at an elephant and you're like no way like is that real or am i in a movie like what's going on so my family we were on a safari and we saw a lot of animals like far off um, so like giraffes and elephants um and that was cool um but as we were driving in this jeep with our guide um, we were driving through the bushes and we came upon this elephant like it was probably from me to Alyssa the elephant um, and so we're all sitting in the jeep and my mom just about had a panic attack she was like freaking out she was like y'all like what are we supposed to do like can the jeep move like we're too close to this elephant um, and I feel like that moment reminded me just like of feeling a little bit out of place like the wild was around us um, and specifically that elephant like it was a little scary um, and we felt out of place but in the midst of that um, it reminded me of this story in the Bible that talks about this woman who she was a lot out of place um, she was she was in the wild and Jesus met her there so I wanted to share this story with you guys it comes from John 4 and Jesus is on a trip he is passing through a small town um, that's kind of like a enemy town to Jesus's people like a lot of people don't like them they don't really talk to them and more than that this lady is at a well in the middle of the day it's super hot um, they're usually not at the well in the middle of the day so it's like she's avoiding everyone else who would go to the well to draw water because they're usually there in the morning and at night but she goes right in the middle of the heat of the day and Jesus and his friends are there to stop for a rest. Um, and he, Jesus starts talking to her, which is weird because one, like I said, Jesus doesn't, or Jesus people don't really like the people in the town that they're staying or in. And two, she's a woman. Like usually guys and girls don't talk to each other a lot. Um, so it's pretty crazy that he even starts talking. Um, but I think it's even crazier what he starts to talk about. Um, so this is in John 4. So Jesus says to her, he says, go call your husband and come here. The woman answered him, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you're right in saying I have no husband for you have had five husbands and the one you now have is not your husband. What you have said is true. What? Like, that's crazy. Jesus just calls this lady out, like, and he, it's his first interaction with her. Um, and he's like, hey, I know what's going on in your life. Like, I know the most broken pieces of your story. And he's right there in the midst of that. Um, and the woman says to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one who's called the Christ. When he's come, he will tell us all things. And Jesus says, I who speak to you, I am he. I'm the Messiah and the woman responds um, she's really excited and she says she leaves her water jar and she goes into her town and says to the people come see a man who told me all that I ever did can this be the Christ um, and I think this whole story is just crazy um, it's like encountering that elephant in the wild that you're like what what is going on um, and I love that Jesus' first interaction with this woman when really he's not supposed to be talking to her or really even acknowledge her presence is that he mentions her past, the brokenness of it, um, and the struggle that has been a part of her story. And he sees and knows her in that. And more than that, he sees and knows her and she is safe with him despite every cultural difference, every piece of her story that doesn't make sense or that really doesn't feel like something that should be shared, Jesus is safe with her right there. Um, and he is a safe place for her to know that brokenness and to be safe. And I was just wondering tonight, guys, I don't know, have you ever felt like certain parts of you aren't safe with others? I know that I have. Um, like certain pieces of my story that I'm like, oh, well, if Molly really knew me, she wouldn't, she, she wouldn't like me um, because there's this piece in my story that's really broken and I don't want other people to know about it. Or maybe 
what you share on social media um, isn't exactly what you would say is happening in the deepest parts of your heart right now in life. Um, and that's okay. I don't think you're meant to share the deepest, darkest parts of you with everyone. But at the same time, Jesus knows those deep pieces of your story and you are safe with him in that. So I just wanted to tell you all tonight, you don't have to leave out the pieces of your story that are the most broken or that have been the hardest for you. Um, he will meet you right there and you are safe with him. So um, I did some research and elephants are actually said to be very docile creatures. They're really not dangerous. Um, sometimes in the wild they can be, but usually on average an elephant, you can just like drive right by it and everything's fine. And I think sometimes that's maybe what it can feel like when we're walking with Jesus. Like, oh, this is really scary. I don't really know if I want him to know this part of me. But really, Jesus is totally safe. He's kind and gracious and compassionate, and he's going to hold you right there. So tonight I wanted to ask you guys, um, just to ponder this question, maybe talk to your leaders tonight, um, but where can you let Jesus in? What part of your story haven't you let him into yet? Um, and be safe with him there um, because he is safe and he is our safe place in a world that doesn't feel that way. So I'd love to pray for you guys. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for tonight, for a night full of joy and laughter and fun games and lots of great colors. Lord, we ask that you would show us more of your safety, that you are our safe place, um, that you are our refuge and our stronghold. <laughs> Jesus, we love you and trust you and ask that you would bless the rest of this time that we get to spend with our friends. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here. 2023 Color Wars is yeah. over. Uh, next week, your Young Life Clubs will be happening uh, at the same normal time and same place. We'd love to see you there. Uh, just a couple more left. So you're welcome to hang out, do whatever you want. I don't know if people are going to cookout looking like this. You're welcome to go to cookout looking like this. If you want to, they'll welcome you. But glad you're here. Does anyone want one? <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What do we do now? Okay. Can we swing on the swings?